Welcome to today's lesson titled Counting with Bijections and the format of today's lesson is I've posted a few videos online and I've also sent out a list of problems so we're going to be going through some of the problems in that set I'm going to be explaining how to do some of them as examples and then I'm going to stop the video and ask you to work through them by yourself so today we're talking about counting using bijections and this is the first problem we're going to do. In a rectangular grid, how many paths are there to get from 0, 0 right here to 3, 3, only moving right or up? So first I'm going to go through um, a very good method for doing these sorts of path counting problems. So what we're going to do, first uh, let me draw a few of the paths that are possible. So one so uh, one possible path so it's going this way and another one might be doing something like this and another one something like this so you get the idea and the way I like to solve these problems is you go from the starting point and um, going to the finish point you label how many ways there are to get from the start to any particular point on this graph it doesn't have to be the finish and eventually we will get to how many ways there are to get to the finish so I'm gonna use yeah, so let's start labeling so to get from the start to this point 0 1 there's exactly one way to get there to get to similarly to get to this point 1 0 there's also one way same as here um, you can only go through this point to there so there's one way and one way for this as well one way to get to this point and one way to get to this point so now let's look at this point right here 1 1 we can get there either from coming from this source or from this source so there are two ways to get there By adding those numbers up now let's look at this point we can get there either from coming here coming through this point for which there are two ways or from here which for which there's one way so that gives us three and for here there is there are four ways now for this point either from this point there are one ways or two ways so we have three here it's also four for this point there's six ways either coming from this three or that three here there are ten ways here there's also ten ways and so finally we get that there are twenty ways to get from start to finish so that was kind of a it wasn't a brute force approach we weren't just going out and listing every single possibility um, and it's kind of nice and it works very generally for different methods but you still see that we had to do addition to get from we had to do all this addition to get to this final location and if the grid size was a bit bigger it wouldn't be such an easy approach so what we're instead going to do is write out the path using letters so now let's take the black path first so in that case we can write it as a sequence so we'll write up 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 right 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 Okay. Similarly, the orange path is going to be up, right, up, oops, right, right, up. And the green path is right, right, up, 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 right. What we can notice is that um, each of these sequences is going to have to have three ups and three rights to get us to our final destination but furthermore once we have a path that has three ups and three rights in it that's guaranteed to correspond to one of these paths so this tells us that we have a bijection so a bijection is a mashing between two sets so if I have one set and I have a, a few objects here and if I have another set and I have a few objects here what a bijection does is it matches these up so to count the elements in set A on the right 
it's the same as counting the elements in set B. Sorry, A on the left, B on the right. Um, so in this case, to count up the total number of paths from start to finish is the same as counting the total number of sequences with three U's and three R's. And so this is a problem that I think you should know how to do. Um, we use combinatorics choose notation. So we can do six choose three. And that's six times five times four divided by three times two times one, which is 20. So we got the same answer both ways. Um, but as you can see, this method will work generally for greater board sizes. So now what I want you to do is look at problems um, 2 through 4. I'm going to, let me copy them in here. Um, problems 2 through 4. And you should have them on the document as well. And then come back for the next video.